Hey all, Butternut Duke here. How's it going? In today's quick tips, we're going to be doing uh, some basic building mechanics. Uh, so let's get straight into it. First of all, when you are building, you want to be on flat land. So there are two tools you can use. First one is the hoe, so you use the level ground. And uh, yeah, just go over and do that. The other one is the pick. Uh, so if you find some areas that are still higher than the other area, you can just come in and swing your pick. And that will go down as well. Okay, now we've got flat ground. Uh, we can build uh, floors. We need, first of all, see a workbench. And it's really important. The reason why we have flat ground, it's really important that the first uh, level is touching the ground. So you'll know if things are touching the ground because when you place them, they're blue. So, and as I said before, yeah, don't worry too much about flat ground. So now we know things aren't quite flat, you can come back with a pick and just hit those bits of ground that's sticking out. Okay, we've got floor that's all blue. So we can go and place that first level of walls. These also should be blue as well. Uh, so what this means is they are attached to foundation. This is really important for your first level because otherwise you're gonna have problems when you uh, go higher. So for little windows, I quite like to use these half you need walls, you need a door as well. You also need um, somewhere dedicated for a fireplace, so it's quite worthwhile quite making a bit of a chimney. And then you need to put a roof on it. Uh, there's a few ways you can do roofs. You can use this corner piece to deal with the corners. Or another common way is just to your flat roof like that and you can use these corner pieces and that's fairly the basics of a house I'll just quickly finish that okay it's a bit of a hodgepodge house because I'm doing two stars of roof <laughs> which aren't going to work but uh, you kind of get the point there um, and obviously I said that chimney is really important to get rid of the smoke Otherwise, you can take damage from the smoke. Okay, let's go over now why it's really important uh, to have proper structural stability. So I'm going to run over this hill where I've got a good sort of example. It really comes to effect when you're trying to build higher than this little house. Okay, I've knocked up this weird little structure here, but this uh, is going to show off the stability of the building material. So this wooden wall, we can build eight high. There are eight floors going up there. If I place the ninth one, it will collapse and uh, just fall apart. So if I build my hammer, you'll notice that they go different colours. So green, 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 starts to go yellow and then it'll can't quite get up there, but it goes orange and then red. Uh, you can also see that depending on how high you are or the structural stability of that, uh, depends on how much roof you can go out to. So from the first level, we can go four roof tiles up, the second also four, but then after that point, it starts to drop off. We go three and then two, one, one. And at the eighth height, we can't even lay a uh, roof on it. Uh, so how we get around this, uh, we use um, much better structural support. Um, I want first need to make points. So these wooden beams here, they are no stronger than these wooden walls so they don't offer any additional support so they too will go all the way up to eight and they will do exactly the same thing with the roof as well uh, so if you want to go higher and longer with your roofs you need to use something called core wood and this is found in the black forest if you want a bit more detail on that please follow my adventure guide uh, where we're going to this in a lot more detail but using core wood 
yeah, you can go higher. Uh, so actually, so for every one of those beams, that's two floors. And we can got two beams up there further, so that's 10, 12 high. Uh, so then what that does to the, the roof is now that we can actually add an extra roof to there on the, the first level. So that's five, and then obviously it kind of goes up one for each time. So we can go further as well. Uh, so this is great for bigger builds where we're trying to aim for having like an extra floor at the top and we also go high or maybe we want to put a boat in here or something like that so we need core wood so we're going to mock up this little building over here as well uh, but you can see we've gone three high on the walls if we look at this little structure here if we go three high we can go only three roof tiles away and this is actually seven or long uh, which means that we wouldn't actually be able to give support to this middle roof unless we reinforce it with core wood. So we're going to build this over here, go over the challenges it possesses and the solutions to it. So yeah, first I'm going to set, I'm going to have seven along here. Okay, so I built my walls three high and I want to now try and make the roof go across. Okay, so I've got some roof on now. Uh, so you can see the first one is green and goes orange and red. Uh, same for that side. So if I now try and place this final roofing piece, I just find the snapping point. There we go. It collapses. So we need to reinforce this with uh, the core wood. Okay, so we've called with our inventory, we just select the long pole and we simply just build ourselves a nice support. I think it should save on core wood. It should snap into place. Now you see that roof changed to green because it's now got support from the core wood. So just because make it nice and symmetrical, we'll put one over here as well. Okay, so now we're going to place the final roof piece. And you see it's all supported. Actually, my, you see now my core wood's not quite lined up properly, but that's okay. I'll come to that in a minute. So now if I want to extend uh, the roof, I should, I think, be able to only go three. So if I place this fourth one now, that should collapse as well. Okay, so we built our roof tiles three out, and to get further support, we need our core wood beams to be in the middle. So to have one nice and centrally through the building, we have to create a few snapping points. So I'm going to use the core, the cross wood. Uh, so this one, I'm going to put that on the roof, and then I built the floor out, and then I'm going to use this half wood beam. And again, just have that snapped in there. And now when I do my core wood, you can see it snaps in nicely there. That snaps in nicely there. And I'll just quickly fill in that gap. So that's now there. Now I can remove that. And I can continue with my roof. For another three, of course. Now I do the fourth one. It's going to collapse. So all I have to do is repeat that process, and then all I have some core wood beams, nice and neatly in the middle. So I hope you found these tips to be useful, and you can now go ahead and build some mighty big buildings. So until the next one, bye.